Suffering from culture shock, spent Shabbat at Loma Linda University and La Sierra University. These are these sleepy, quiet, ethereal, peripheral, otherworldly Seventh-day Adventist enclaves, shtetls, out in Riverside and San Bernardino County, over an hour's drive east on the 10 freeway if there's no traffic. So about 60 miles away. And not only does it feel like a different world compared to the boiling, boiling hot, high-pressure cauldron of Orthodox Judaism that we have here in Pico Robertson, but uh, it uh, felt like a different time zone uh, because like that was my childhood. So I felt like I walked back into my childhood for 28 hours and now I'm back in my regular life and I'm all still discombobulated. Uh, just walking down the street, it's, uh, it's a whole different vibe here in Pico Robertson. And uh, Seventh-day Adventists are very nice and uh, they, they, they don't wear their religion on their sleeve, literally. They don't wrap the fill in or they don't wear distinguishing trinkets or do distinguishing rituals. It's non-ritualistic religion. And uh, while Judaism, of course, is a whole body religion, put your whole body into Judaism. So people carry it with them from the yarmulke to the seat seat, the fringes. And uh, I can learn Melinda that they're talking, you know, they're talking theologies like, you know, am I saved and feel like I'm being uh, embraced, feel like I'm safe in God's gentle embrace and all sorts of lovey dovey God language and theology that we, it's just not how we talk in, uh, in Judaism. So I'm all out of sorts. It's weird to have stepped so dramatically into such two different worlds. Luckily, I can just, I'm pretty emotionally stunted. So I keep my emotions to myself most of the time until I'm safe at home like now, and then I can express them. So that way I can move between lots of different worlds and I can adjust because my emotions are clamped down and I'm just observing. As an observer, I feel safe.